Determining whether a cord or any of the other new products actually are safer is a highly complex process. The Institute of Medicine recently spent a year studying just how such determinations might be made. In its report, the Institute proposed that to assess comparative risk, these products be tested by an independent agency, much as any new drug would be, on cells, on animals and humans, a process requiring at least two years. The tobacco industry historically opposed federal regulation of its products. In 1999, Philip Morris made a dramatic change of course. For the first time, the company publicly acknowledged the health risks of smoking, the addictive nature of nicotine, and not long after, called for oversight of reduced risk products by the Food and Drug Administration. Such authority would require congressional legislation. We need to reach out to the public health community, the federal government, and create a dialogue where we can reach a common ground to define reduced risk products. And just as importantly, how does one go about communicating about such a product? As a responsible company, we think it's appropriate through regulation to allow those adult smokers who continue to choose to smoke to have the alternative of a lower risk product if one's available. Tobacco control advocates were surprised by Philip Morris's new direction and were wary. What the industry would love is to have business as usual for the conventional cigarettes, have the kids start smoking Camels or Marlboros, do the same aggressive advertising that shows it as being macho, fun, socially acceptable. And then when the person turns 30 or 40 or 50 and starts coughing up, you know, give them a clips or a cord so they don't go to the court and sue them, or they can tell a group of jurors, we gave the consumer a choice. Before reduced risk products appeared on the horizon, the strategy of the health community was straightforward, to discourage smoking across the board. Now the situation is far more complex. I am not a, a knee-jerk opponent of safer cigarettes if the science could demonstrate, in fact, that harm had been reduced. But it's very tricky. If there is a genuinely safer cigarette, would it create a disincentive for existing tobacco users to quit? That's unintended consequence, number one. And number two, would it create a new incentive for a non-smoker or someone who had already quit to want to smoke again thinking that they don't have to worry about any of the health consequences of tobacco use. Abstinence will remain the only safe response to cigarettes. But if tobacco companies are to market so-called reduced risk products, should their claims be verified? For the last 50 years, the tobacco companies have used the trappings of public health and public relations to maintain sales, to increase sales through filters, through low tar. Now they're trying it through what they call reduced risk. And they've never been accountable to a regulatory agency as other consumer products are held accountable. And it's time to decide if tobacco products are going to continue being outside the regulatory system, not accountable to anybody for what they do and how they make their products. What goes into this deceptively simple product? On Nova's website, take a closer look at the carefully engineered elements of a conventional cigarette. Then compare them to two safer cigarettes at pbs.org or America Online keyword PBS.
To order this show or any other Nova program for $19.95 plus shipping and handling, call WGBH Boston Video at 1-800-255-9424. Next time on Nova. You can do anything you want with these human embryos. Welcome to the reproductive revolution. We were able to reconstruct an egg, but then we got into trouble. Have we gone too far? 18 ways to make a baby. Nova is a production of WGBH Boston. Major funding for Nova is provided by the Park Foundation, dedicated to education and quality television. This program is funded in part by the Northwestern Mutual Foundation. Some people already know Northwestern Mutual can help plan for your children's education. Are you there yet? Northwestern Mutual Financial Network. Scientific achievement is fueled by the simple desire to make things clear. Sprint PCS is proud to support NOVA. Additional funding for this program was provided by the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation and by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you. This is PBS.